devotional here at Bowling Green Presbyterian Church. Got a song here. Uh, it's one of my favorites called Come Ye Sinners, Poor and Needy. And this is a really old one. It was written in uh, 1759 by Mr. Joseph Hart.
I got a couple of scriptures that I want to read. This isn't exactly the Holy Bible, but it makes it a lot easier. The first one is from Romans, chapter 6, verse 14. For sin shall no longer be your master, because you are not under the law, but under grace. So you're no longer under the Ten Commandments, but under the grace that is found in Christ, the ultimate forgiver. Ten Commandments you know, they cover a pretty broad spectrum of sin. You know, some sin is so subtle that we don't, don't realize we're doing it. Uh, the world conditions us to look, to look out for number one. Me, me, me. We have little regard for our brothers and sisters. And they're created in the image of God, just like we are. You can say... Well, you know, I've never killed anybody. I've never done this or that. You know, there's ten of them. I'll take your pick. Never done that. But I'd be willing to bet you thought about it. This is where Jesus steps on our toes. Uh, if you thought about it, you're guilty of it. If that be the case, I'm breaking several every day. Uh, which leads me to the next verse. And it's in the same same book, Romans, uh, chapter 11, verse 6. And if by grace, then it cannot be based on works. If it were, grace would no longer be grace. Uh, what that saying is, you can't earn your way into heaven. There's a lot of folks that are still trying. Uh, most of my friends are Christian. I know some that are, consider themselves to be mature Christians. and uh, I think, from my observations, they, ne they need to learn how to cut people some slack. Uh, you know, I, I'm a firm believer in walking a mile in somebody else's shoes before I go past the judgment on them. That's kind of what the Pharisees did. And if y'all remember, uh, Jesus didn't care much for the Pharisees. If he showed up tomorrow, uh, he wouldn't be in the churches patting us on the back. He, he'd be uh, searching out the abandoned and the abused and the addicts, the drunks. You know, that's what he told us to do. And it's a pretty tall order, isn't it? Yet another reason that we're totally dependent on grace. And you know what? It gives it away for free. No purchase required. He took the sins of the world to the cross. And he died. And he did that so you and I might spend eternity with him in paradise. Thanks be to God. Amen.